Jeremy Corbyn can hardly open his mouth without being accused of treason. The latest moment of collective hysteria followed his comments in Scotland when he said he would be absolutely fine with a fresh independence referendum if that is what the Scottish Parliament voted for. Q wailing. Exaggerated out of all proportion, dagger-wielding MPs and thespian journalists sought to depict the comments as a scandal. Really? So what gives away that this was a politically motivated attack on Corbyn? Well, Nick Clegg said the exact same thing on the same day. A Conservative minister said the same thing to the Financial Times the same week. And saying a referendum shouldn't be blocked was already the position of the leaders of the Labour Party and the Conservative Party in Scotland. But there has to be one rule for Corbyn and another rule for everyone else. Sure, his leadership has problems, but blaming him for Labour's problems in Scotland is probably the most ridiculous and far-fetched accusation of all. What happened in Scotland? Well, Labour sided with a toxic Tory campaign against independence, losing half of their support and all but one of their MPs. The grievance then and now was about democracy. Scotland was stuck with Tory governments that had been rejected by the people who live here, and that argument has only been strengthened by the 2015 election result and Scotland's vote to remain in the European Union. The latest poll on independence put support at 50%. Like with Brexit, there is no position the Labour Party can take that doesn't alienate a large group of voters based upon their constitutional preference. What Corbyn can do is ignore the saboteurs, the plotters, the coup conspirators, the hoodies who croak for doom, and stay true to what he's always believed, democracy, that power should be in the hands of the people and not an arrogant political class at Westminster. In Scotland, he said, I don't think it is the role of Westminster or the Labour Party to prevent people holding referenda. He's absolutely right. Let the people decide.